Hello everybody, good evening. I hope you've had a lovely day and I've got some very exciting things to show you tonight. I'm a little bit giddy, in fact I've been a little bit giddy since last week when I started having a look at these new dyes. Stephanie's on air tonight at 6pm um, launching a collection from Vintage Inc called Love Letters. I've got all these names going on in my head. Love Letters and she's going to teach you how to watercolour with Cadence Paints, which is very exciting because it's acrylic. So when we were working together last week, she was showing me a little bit of how she did it and then my brain started to tick. And then all these fabulous little new ideas started popping in. So I'm gonna go through the product with you, give you the number and the prices as ever. And then we're gonna go through some of the samples that the design team has sent in. And then I'll show you what I've done because it's a little bit different. It gives a different spin to two red robins, which I think is quite nice sometimes. Hi everybody, nice to see you joining in. Lovely, thank you Celia, thank you Sue. I'm very excited about this. Right, let's get on with it because I want you to see exactly what you're getting. So these are our new web exclusive um, dies. Now every time we launch a collection, we bring out some web exclusives for you and give them to you at a really good price. So instead of being nearly 50, over 50 pounds, this today for, for Nest members is 35 99, which is great. So a fabulous saving. And I love it when two Red Robins do dies like this because they're fillers and they will fit with any of your collections that you've bought so far. They will stand completely independently if you don't want to do anything else, but just use these. And it really gives you the opportunity to get so creative and do something a little bit different. So I'm going to go through them with you on the boards as well. And also what we've been finding today is lots of people have been buying the reflections pre-printed because we can print them for you on our laser printer at work and then we send them out to you, which is great. And it does make a difference to the colour. Now, I have an inkjet printer at home and there's a laser printer here. I like to use both because you get a different look. So if I just bring in this little bird here, this is quite a little bit more vibrant and it has a sheen to it. This is still lovely printed on the inkjet, but it's, the colour isn't quite as intense. Now we are bringing out a card called Laser Look. It's not ready yet, and it won't be probably till the end of October, beginning of November, but it means that you can print on an inkjet printer and it gives you a certain level of that sheen, which will be lovely. But just wanted to let you know that the reflections are available if you want us to print them for you. So our first little two little characters are these little lovely little things. And do you know what? As soon as I see a bird, I look for the eye. And if the eye is very soft and gentle, I buy the bird because I think it's just a lovely way of adding something in. I like the way that you've got two different kind of shapes, but within the same bird. And I like the fact that they're facing each other. So it would be great on a wedding card or an anniversary card to a loving couple, etc., etc. You're also gonna get your layered eyes, which you used to. So that's that die that goes around the outside edge. So those two are called Midnight Bliss. They're really, really lovely. And you can, the detail in the colouring is just phenomenal. Max does an amazing job. Now we've got Horned Beauty. So for me, this is very much like a thistle. And again, if I put this one at the side of it, in fact, I'll cover over the white cut so that you can see the difference. The difference here is fabulous. Again, it gives you two different looks, but from the same reflection, depending on what you print it on. Really pretty. I, I quite like the matte look, but I know a lot of people like that sheen look. So whichever suits you or mix between the two, that's a great one. And it's super snippable. So you could snip there and just have the thistle head. You could snip down here and cut this leaf away and just have this part. I love the pop of blue. I think blue is a really lovely colour to have. And it's quite a warm, quite a purpley base blue, like a cornflower blue. Really, really lovely. So that's that one. Then you're going to get your blueberry bliss. And this is super cool. So you've got your blueberries on here. White cut if you want to colour them yourself. So maybe you want to make them into black currants or you want them just to be berries or rose hips or whatever you want them to be. I think that works really well. This is what it looks like as your reflection. And this is really cool because I was when I looked at this, I thought, okay, that's quite a strange... It, 
not a strange shape but the way it's been drawn so the the stems kind of here if you like so you could use it that way and it could be hanging down you could even get away with it that way but you can also snip all this away and just have the blueberries with the leaves there so a really nice one to have and that rich pop of blue it's almost quite regal it's very very pretty so that's your blueberry bliss and finally you've got thorns of beauty and this is stunningly beautiful this is one of those that you can use to make your wreaths you can snip into you can decoupage it's just a perfect perfect fit for any other two red robins collections that you've bought previously or maybe this is the first time you've come across us and if it is welcome welcome to the highlight cross family hello everybody i quite keeps having to look at the screen I'm so used to being told not to look at the screen and I look at the camera every time i look away i'm like oh no i need to look at the screen that's years and years of being on tv right so you can see what you're getting for your money i'll just show you the dies so you can see the size of the dies we've got them on these nice magnetic sheets you can see all the detail here as well this is what we love isn't it the snippability of it you've got that outside edge as your mat layer which is fantastic then you've got your beautiful thistle and I love this I love the thistle and actually this whole collection take that one away that for me can be quite masculine and I like that I like the fact that we can make something that still has our wildlife in there still has our florals but can be quite masculine you add that in and that makes it more feminine it's super cool super super cool then you've got your two little birds on there actually they're quite decent size if i put my finger there you can see they're quite a decent size die and then you've got your blueberries but they can be any color that you want them to be because you can color them yourselves right so i want to show you some of the um cars that the design team have sent in and then i'm going to start and do a demo for you because i'm a little bit excited about some new stuff that i've found and you know what I get like I get really giddy don't know about I am honestly when you've been in the craft industry for 35 years you've seen a lot of stuff this is just exciting for me now so look at this one this is lovely who's done this one this is from Kath Westwood and she's used the um, nesting frames that we had on at the weekend that Stephanie had on uh, weekend no, it wasn't weekend it must have been monday because she was on air after the retreat and then using those florals using the matte layers and cutting the frame in the same color so it appears to be look like it could be all one piece which is super lovely then we've got what i would class as a typical two red robins card that's on construction weight acetate stands alone really lovely really different it's what makes us stand out from the crowd which i think is fabulous another one here bringing in some of the previous um, dye elements or using the background papers and just having all these fabulous florals coming out from the side. We've got another one here using those nesting shapes again with a, a patterned background. This is lovely, the yellow from the centers of the flowers being picked out in the background paper, but using that white or that just slightly off white card to make the birds pop then we have the old boot which i love look at this again bringing out those previous collections with the hole in the front and all the wildflowers just growing around it with the berries that's super super lovely and i actually think if you swap the pink flowers out for more thistles that would be great for a men's card that would be fabulous and then also think about going in and adding some um, glitter and some frost and some fake snow and making it winter because that would look fantastic if you got like um, wet glue and then or our glaze and then put glitter over the top or use like faux snow you could even use some of the cadence paint and pounce it on to make it look like snow fine glitter over the top you could absolutely make this into winter which I love there's nothing better than getting a collection and you can see that it would work all throughout the year now this is a clever one so this has been done by let me tell you who Steve so what Steve's done here is created this front, but he's created a gatefold and he's used the outside edge of the die. So that mat layer, if I just put my hand behind there, to cut into either side of the panel. And he's done it so that when you close, that flower just sits perfectly in the middle. Isn't that clever? Look, 
So you open up and you've got all these beautiful florals in there, but when it closes, all that just comes together. That's a really nice idea, Steve. Thank you for that one. Again, backgrounds, look at this. This is lovely too. So you've got all these fabulous florals going on here. The decoupage layers, as you can see, as much or as little as you want it to be, but you can see how these, um, these, this style of flower, this tall stem really, really works well on a DL card. I think that's fabulous. And then last but by no means least, I'm going to show you this one. This one is by Steve again. And I, what Steve likes to do is decorate the inside as well. So you've got all these fabulous berries with the birds sat on top, decoupaged up. Decoupaged up because we've got an aperture. So when we close that, he doesn't come, you know, f further up than... Because it's on the inside, when you close it, there's not as much depth, is what I'm trying to say. I've done a lot of teaching today. I've said a lot of words. So it's worth watching just for a bit of fun because it just might all go horribly wrong. And then having these fantastic birds, look at this, how we've just created that beautiful sweep up around here. And look how the backgrounds that you've got on many of the USBs we've brought you just set that scene. Lovely. Right, so now I'm going to show you what I did with it because I love all that kind of that style of them, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to show you how to make this one, actually, because the background probably isn't made with what you think it is. So we've got um, some stamps on the background. This is on watercolor card and then just using this stem to draw up almost like a vintage, you know, those um, vintage Victorian postcards that you used to get and they all look like those little scraps that you used to build up as a child. I think this is what this looks like. And for me, I would put that in a frame. For me, that's a piece of art and it just starts with a blank piece of paper, which is super, super lovely. Same dies but bringing in our nested tags and using our paint as a spritzer. Mm -hmm. Our paint as a spritzer. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And this is all tying in to what Stephanie's doing on Create and Craft at six o'clock with the one day special. She's gonna teach you how to color flowers with the acrylic paint, but make them look like watercolor and I'm teaching you how to use your paints in a different way. So it's all tying in. That for me looks quite oriental. It's got that gold with that pop of really, really color and then the black I think works really, really well. And then this is completely different. So to make this one, I took a piece of our blackboard. Now on our website at the moment under Craftmaster, there is some blackboard. It's what Stephanie's been used to painting on. I pinched a bit and I have cut through it with a piece of cut tidy, granted, um, with a tattered lace sentiment die that we had on a few weeks ago, these big sentiments, and it's cut through beautifully. So I took a piece of black card, you'd one of our nested fundamental circles. This background is a piece of our construction weight acetate. Take it outside, put it in a box, Get the one minute mirror from Cadence, which David had on last week, and you don't want a complete covering. You just want a splash of it in the background. There's no point wasting it. Don't try and get a perfect cover, just literally a splash of background. And then we've stamped on top of it with the paint. So now we're spritzing with the paint and we're stamping with the paint. And then all I've done is built a wreath going all the way around, snipping into those beautiful blueberries and the thistle, didn't use any of the paler flowers on this one, just building it round and then popping the little birds in and the sentiment in the middle. So we can go from cards that look like that to that with the same collection. That's what I love about it. Cards from that to that with the same collection. It's about putting your style on it, your spin on it. And it's been really interesting because over the last few um, couple of months, Stephanie and I have kind of done weekenders with Tattered Lace and we split the shows. And it's, it's lovely because you get two different people's take on it. And that's why I like doing something a little bit different, just to see if, you know, maybe this will inspire you to have a go. Right, so let's get started and let's make this for you because I'm super excited about this. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is mix a little bit of paint. 
because that's not ink, it's paint. I'm actually going to leave that there so we can work on top of this. I've got a piece of watercolour card and the first thing I'm going to do is mix up some paint. Okay, so I bought myself some empty little spritzer bottles. We're on the case. We're sourcing these as we speak because you need one that's got the right length of pipe and that's got the right nozzle on it. So we're on it. We're looking at it for you. And I'm going to pop that on there and I'm going to take. Now, we also have on this Facebook Live the opportunity for you to get a good deal on some hybrid paints. So I chose four colours. They are fuchsia. So that's a hybrid acrylic. We've got the Midnight Blue, which is just beautiful with that cornflower blue of those die cuts. It's the perfect match. Then we've got a white metallic, so a hybrid metallic and a hybrid metallic in silver. And they're on a special deal for you. And then the only other thing you need is the extender. Now, if you're on Stephanie's painting pages journey, you might have these colors, you might not. So go and have a check, fuchsia, Midnight Blue, Pearl, and silver. If not, they're on our website at a really good deal. So let's see what we can do with these paints. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put some extender in the bottom of here. So I'm just gonna put it in and I'm just gonna fill it up. So it's about, I don't know, a centimeter. Okay, that's more than enough. So you can see I've done about eight of these spritz bottles and I've still got half a bottle of extender left. Then I'm gonna take the pink hybrid acrylic give it a good shake so that all the ingredients mix back back up because what happens in transportation is some of the the layers split a little bit and it happens with all sorts of paint i used to use jonestown's fabric paint and every time they arrived on the shipment we had to shake every bottle that's why i've got a dodgy shoulder now i think and i'm going to put some of this in here now it goes in it's quite funny to watch because it looks like something out of a weird chemistry lab look <laughs> And it just sits, look how it just sits underneath. So the paint's heavier than the extender. Look at that, it's cool. So one paint with the extender, you can now create a spritzer, all right? So we don't need to buy our spritzers anymore because if we've got our paint, we can make our own. And the great thing is that it will match perfectly. So the colors will match perfectly because you're gonna stamp with it, we're gonna blend with it, we're gonna do this with it, which is fantastic. So I love that, I love it when you can buy a product that does more than one thing. That's super important. Right, I'm just going to grab my box from down here because I've already got paint all over the table once today and I don't want to do it again. Right, so I'm going to in, work in my box. If we can go on the overhead, Andrew, that would be amazing. There we go. We're coming up now so you can see what we're doing. And I'm just going to spritz this onto this piece of card. So I'm going to just work off the card just to get that spritz going like that. And then I'm just literally going to put a little bit on the background like that. Okay, that's all I want. Don't need any more than that. I'm going to take that out and I'm going to dry it. So now I don't need my ink spritzers anymore because I can do it with my paint. Brilliant. Right, let's dry this off. So there's a few stages to this. I'm going to try and finish before six o'clock so you can watch Stephanie. Because otherwise that'll be really frustrating. I'm going to be telling you about it and then you've not been able to watch it. Right, so I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to dry this off. Get yourself a decent watercolour card. Don't get something that's really thin because you won't, it'll just buckle. And I'm just going to dry this off. If you want to, you can take some of the colour out if it's a little bit too strong. You can just get yourself, now I tried, bought myself some muslin cloths because it's better for the environment. And you can just take some of that off. Remember, this is paint now, not ink. So, why extender rather than water? Well, if you put water in with a highly pigmented paint, you'll still get a good colour, but it will knock that pigment back. By using the extender, it keeps the pigment in there. It keeps that strength of colour. You need less of it, and it just means that you get a really nice, vibrant background. Okay, so we're nearly there with that. Right, so that's dry. Okay, so we've now got our background just spritzed. How fabulous is that? Through a stencil, over a mask, all that kind of thing that we can do with that. But what else can we do with the paint? Because this is the bit that I got super excited about. So we're going to take a little bit of paint on our mat and we're going to put a little bit of extender on our mat as well. 
So I'm just going to add a few drops of that. And I'm going to grab a paintbrush, maybe, if I've remembered to bring one in, I'll use one of my water brushes. And I'm just going to mix that together. Okay, and you want it to go like a really quite thin. You don't want any blobs of paint in and you want it quite thin. Now you'll get used to how much paint and extender you need to put out, but it's not a lot. That's one thing I can tell you. And then look, look at this, look at this, look how far this paint goes. It's phenomenal quality, absolutely phenomenal. You will not get a better paint than Cadence. It's superb. Right, now I'm gonna dip this, so a blending brush, just a regular blending brush that you would use with your ink. And I'm gonna just blend this on my glass mat. Work on a glass mat first, because you need much less than you think. Now watch this. I can go in and I can blend like I would with an ink, but with the same paint, so it matches. Now, how many times would I have had to go back into my ink pad now to get down this side more than once, let me tell you. Look at this, look how fabulous this is. This is the paint with the extender and look at this. And this is on watercolour card. You guys know how hard it is to get a blend on watercolour card. Look at this, how fabulous is that? I was very giddy. Can you imagine all the happy clapping that was going on? When I, when I did this, I was like, Stephanie, you need to come down to work. You need to see this. She's like, I'm just in the middle of a meeting. I'm like, no, you need to come down and see it. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. And it doesn't matter whether you work on super smooth, whether you work on watercolor card, whether you work on your um, mixed media card, it just blends beautifully. Now, if you want card, and it's a craft master card. So we've got the blackboard, we've got some pearlescent card, so you can add a shine to your shimmer. Just saying, that's super cool. But look how fabulous this is. Look, you would never know that that wasn't ink, never. And this is Cadence paint. Now, I'll tell you something for nothing. This, A, it's cheaper than buying an ink pad, and B, it will last you a lot longer because you need the tiniest, tiniest amount, tiniest amount. So if I was going to use this for like, like this for blending, I would batch make and I'd use all that paint up and then that matches perfectly. How fantastic is that? And then if you suddenly think, well, I want it to just blend a little bit more, just add some extender onto your brush and it will then look, I can keep, look, look how, look how smooth that is. It's just magic. It's just magic. And for those of you on Stephanie's painting pages, you've already got this. It's just a different way of using it. And that's what crafting's all about. It should be about buying a product and getting every little last bit of use out of it with all these different ideas. Now, I'm sorry, I am gonna be really naughty and wipe that paint up because I want to show you the next bit. So we've now blended it. So now we're gonna give you the 15% off code just while I blast this off so this is for craftmaster anything under craftmaster so your card your construction weight acetate your br your water brushes which are phenomenal your um, gems your glitters your tools your fine liners all of that 15 percent off enter code c for charlie m for mother one five mel and then just put that in at checkout, it will apply it and off you go. Right, so I'm just gonna blast this off because remember this is paint. So I'm just going back in now and I'm just giving this a blast off. Right, so what else can we do with this paint? Well, <laughs> there's a lot actually. So the next thing I want to do is put in some detail in the background. So I'm going to take a piece of cut and dry sponge and Cut and Dry is another Cadence product and it's blinking brilliant. It's good for adding paint onto stuff, it's good for gessoing, it's good for um, using with your inks, it's good for, it's just brilliant product. Of all the products on the first day that we saw at Cadence, this was the one that impressed me the most because they literally put paint on it and just swiped it over a big piece of MDF and it covered, it was phenomenal. And it's a really nice way of getting that smooth blend. So all I'm doing now is using a palette knife and I've got some black paint on here. So this is a hybrid paint. 
Now hybrid means that it will dry on any surface. Hence, we can stamp on acetate with it. We can stamp on wood with it, but we can also stamp on our card with it. So I mean, I'm being a bit, little bit naughty and I'm using one of the stamps that Stephanie's got on at six o'clock. In fact, I'm using a few of them. Now, when you're using a hybrid acrylic um, on your project with paint, you need to put it in warm soapy water and give it a, a little bit of a scrub because it's hybrid and it will want to stay on your, um, on your stamp and then it might stop the ink absorbing in. But if you wash it, it doesn't. And I know it doesn't because I tried it last week. So you're going to push the paint into the sponge so that you haven't got any blobs of it on the surface. And then you're going to use it as an ink pad. Okay, and we're just going to ink this up. So now we've got one paint that has spritzed, blended. Now we're stamping with it. So it doesn't I, for me, when you've got a script stamp, it doesn't really matter which way up you go because it's so fine. It, it's not, it doesn't say anything in particular, but look how fine you can go. It's phenomenal. This was the bit that got me. I thought of all the stamps, this stamp's got to be the hardest one. I'm going to turn that over and just stamp that there to get a nice finish on, but you can because you've used it on that sponge. It's brilliant. What a different way of using your paints and your Cadence products. And you know, this is just the beginning of the Cadence adventure. It blew my mind when we went over to Turkey. And now we're going to have our training academy, which will be ready at the end of March. You'll be able to come and learn and play with all these products. How exciting is that? So I'm going on different directions as well here, just to create a nice background. I'm going to put that one there like that. And then I might have just a little one down at the bottom here, but look how fine this is stamping. It's not blobbing. It doesn't look blotchy. It's just superb. And it means that everything matches, everything matches. It's just, just brilliant. Right, I'm going to put a little bit of that down here as well, like so, okay? So we've got that. Now, just wanted to show you this because this, oh, excuse me, my head, this is on acetate. So I've stamped with the hybrid acrylic onto acetate and look at the clarity that you get in that stamp. It's amazing. So now you could have an acetate wrap that goes over your cards, but you can stamp on it with your paint. And I know you can use stays on, but this, if you've already got one product, make the most out of it. Right, so we've done that bit. I'm now going to bring in another stamp, which is this postmark. And this is also from Stephanie's launch. So I am teasing you a little bit. I apologize for that. Please watch this back because you will be able to um, watch it over and over again. Now I've got midnight blue. So I brought in the pink. I'm now bringing in that blue that's in that collection, which is just beautiful. Please don't miss out on these. They are stunning. So I've now got a smaller piece of foam and I'm going to pick up some of this blue and I'm going to rub this in so you can see better now. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to push that paint into that sponge. Okay, so we've so for those of you that are joining us a little bit later, we've taken some Cadence paint, put it into a spray bottle with a bit of extender and we spritzed with it. Then we took some more of the pink paint and we added some more of the extender and we used a blending brush and we blended with it. So this round here is an ink, it's paint. Everything on this background that you can see is paint. Now what we're doing is using the paint on the stamps to create that fabulous finish. Now look at this, so I can go in here with this stamp. Don't worry about getting it around the edges. It's fine, it won't transfer because they're deeply etched enough. And I'm now going to pop, let's have a look, we'll have one up there. One up, oh, get out of the way foam, there you go. One up there, like that. So we've got our little postmark going on. Go back in with the same sponge, with the same paint. And we'll have one over here, like that. And then we'll have another one. down here. Look at this, right? So we've now got this. So we've now created our background, okay, for our stamp. Because I've got blue on here, 
I'm going to use it to edge so it's bringing the blue from the inside outside and then we will mat it on a piece of black card which means that it will bring the black from the paint because all this is stamped with the paint as well and we'll bring that into the outside of the card right so I've now created my background and there is a special offer these paints so you get the um the blue the pink so midnight blue fuchsia you get a pearl metallic and you get a silver metallic and the metallics sprayed are phenomenal they're like you've used a proper full-on mica spray in fact if i just grab this box again this isn't a very good way of showing you but if we go and have a look at the pearlescent on that paper that's just white super smooth sprayed with some of the um the white paint look at that look how fabulous that is it just shimmers and shines doesn't it it's an exceptional product in fact while i'm here i'm going to pop that in there and i'm going to take my white spritzer bottle so i treated myself to some little spritzer bottles we're on it we're searching for them as we speak to get the right ones I've got some hybrid metallic in here with some extender and the reason we use an extender is so it doesn't dull down the pigment but it makes the paint do lots of different things so I'm just going to get that going and I'm just going to spray a little bit of that on the background so when we dry it you'll be able to see what that looks like too so let's move that out of the way and then I'm just going to dry it off okay now the acrylic paint will dry quite quickly under normal circumstances but don't forget we've got extender in this so it's going to want to keep it open longer or wetter longer so you can just go in and dab some of the excess off or work on, with another piece of card underneath so it picks up any stray bits but what a great way so if I went if you went out and I said to you right you need to come back with four you need to come back with um, a spray bottle so a spritzer you need to come back with um, an ink that you can stamp with and you need to come back with an ink that you can blend with that would cost you a fortune and then i want you to have that in 20 in, i think there's 90 odd different colors now you don't need to do that and i'm going to be really 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 numb. do i be really naughty i don't know if i'll get away with it or not no sack it stephanie's always naughty so i'm going to do it as well i'm just going to bring in a product that's coming through to us soon and i'm sure she's already given you a sneak peek anyway but look at this <laughs> so we have this coming as a product little pots of beautiful beautiful loveliness these are all hybrid acrylics now how many spritzes can you make out of that <laughs> and you can mix your colors don't forget so that's coming soon right so i've now got my background so now let's bring in these beautiful beautiful die cuts from over here right i've got a ton of them because i don't have pictures i have to have lots of stuff that's my excuse and i am sticking it to us so for anyone joining us this is the new collection so let me just go through the boards for you once more while we're here so you've got this beautiful pink floral here this is called thorns of beauty and it is exactly that sorry i've got a tickle again <coughs> i've had this tickle all day today we just get a drink quickly otherwise my eyes will start watering <coughs> sorry guys i've had that all day today right so you've got your thorned beauty which is lovely perfect for decoupaging now I don't know whether you're aware or not you can absolutely print these off on your own printer because you can download the reflections for free however we also set, we also print reflections for you if that's something that you'd like and we print them on a laser printer so you get that sheen so it's up to you diane was telling me that they've been quite popular today so it might be something that you want to look at then we've got these fabulous blueberries which are just lovely you can use them that way you can use them that way you can use them that way but all these think about all these just slit slotting in it's easy for me to say to your collections that are already existing then you've got this one which is fabulous this is horned beauty <coughs> i'm really You can put the mic back on. I'm just going to put a cough sweet in, so I apologise. This is what happens when you talk for five hours solid today without a presenter at your side to give you a break. 
yeah at least you know it's live and then you've got these two beautiful little birds and i love these i love the color of this that bright blue pop which is just beautiful and just something that we need at this time of year where everything's going a bit brown and a bit dull it's lovely to have that pop of color so this is how i would start to put it together so i'd want to bury to bring out the blue in the background and i would want a stem of my pink flowers down here and then a stem of my beautiful thistle i love this i think this is just fabulous and it means that you can make quite masculine cards with this as well if you want to and i just start to build it up so let's actually if i've got any glue with me which might be a bit of a thing wouldn't you think that a crafter would have some glue but Mm, now there is one somewhere because I've seen it. Here we go. I'm hoping that this is the right one. You never know you look. Bottles of glue everywhere. Oh, this might be a little bit. Yeah, that's not coming out at all, is it? Right, I need to get a pair of tweezers. And just... So with this glue, what happens, if you'd leave the lid off like I did, is it gets a little skin that forms over the top. And you just need to get rid of that skin. And once it's done, there you go. See, now we're working again. Don't just automatically cut the nozzle because it's a nice fine nozzle. So just work with it. Right, so I'm going to put this down first. I'm going to have this here like this, look. Right, so let's think about how we build this together to work. So let's take away the background for now. And let's, this is going to go on the right hand side and this is going to come down here. So I'm looking at that stem. So this stem here, I can hide behind that flower and it gives it a little bit more height. So let's do that. So I'm going to pop this on here. Diane's just come in with some glue. Thank you, darling. <laughs> so I'm going to pop that now behind there. Okay, so now I want my thistle and I want my thistle to come kind of from behind here like that. So let's bring this in here and let's see how high we can go with this. You do need to wait for your drip glue to dry a little bit longer, Melanie. Impatient. Been like that all weekend. Wanting everything to happen twice as quick as it should. Right, so now this is going to go behind there. <coughs> Sorry. I'm going to have a little bit just sticking out there, right? So I'm going to put a little bit of glue down here. So I'm building myself some height because I'm working on a rectangle. I want it to be taller. I want it to fill this space. And I'm going to pop that just behind there like that. Now I need to bring this colour up here. So... I'm just going to take one of the little flower heads and snip it off and that's just going to pop behind there. I'm going to curl it a little bit, give it a little bit of depth and dimension and that just, it doesn't pop off the page but it adds, it brings that colour up there from down there because there's no yellow anywhere else. So I want to bring that yellow so I'm creating that triangle there. So let's stick this down onto here. Let's pop that behind there. So it goes just behind that leaf and you don't even think about checking where the stem goes through. It doesn't even cross your mind to do that. So that works perfectly for me. Now I want to bring a little bit of the thistle down to the bottom. So I'm balancing out and I'm creating this composition. So I'm going to bring a little bit of this down here. So I might just want, I need some scissors. That's what I need for a start off. I'll use these for now. So I want to bring a little bit of this, this pink down here. So let's snip this first of all. So I've got the little bit of the purple there. So that balances here. Do I need the pink as well? Probably. So I'm going to snip away that little bit of blue there. I'm going to just cut into the flower a little bit there just to make that look a little bit more spiky. I'm going to snip that there. And then I'm going to snip away this leaf on the side and they are all the, the tiniest little pips. So you go in with your scissors and you just snip. 
and then you can take this and make it look completely different and that's what I love about die cutting that you can snip into it and get something completely different but I love the colours in this it's really different for two red robins and I think that's a nice thing to do so I'm going to pop that down there so I'm going to stick the whole thing now onto this card and what I'll do is I will give this to Diane and Di who does our social media and she can give this away on our Facebook page how about that I don't even know if that's a thing, but it is now. It is now. See, I've had a good teacher. Stephanie does this all the time. Right, so I'm going to pop that. I'm going to pop it kind of centrally like that. Lovely. And then that can go, that flower's in the right place. And now I'm going to add a little bit of shape to this. And I'm going to have this coming as a separate stem. Because that works. That's nice at the bottom there. It gives it a little bit of interest at the bottom. Otherwise, it looks too bunched up if you just separate it out a little bit and just go in and make sure that you put, you pop out all the little pieces that are in the back of your die cuts. It's a great value. You're getting a great saving on this. You're saving just over 20 percent, which is fabulous. I love the fact that it's different colours. I love the fact that it is standalone. I love the fact that it will work with all your other collections. And I absolutely it just it makes my heart sing when they, when we do florals because they are just beautiful. And the artwork that Max does is just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. He is just a master at digitally colouring images. So I'm going to pop that in there like that. So we've got a little bit of the thistle going on down here now. Now, do I need any berries at the top? I don't know. Let's have a look. I've got blue in three places, so I might not... But let's just do a little bit of snipping. So let's snip away the leaves so that we just ended up with the berries. And I'm going to try and get this finished for you before six o'clock because then you can watch Stephanie with the Love Letters launch. So, because she's going to teach you how to watercolour with acrylic paints. How about that? So you're going to learn how to watercolour. You've learned how to spritz with them. You've learned how to stamp with them. You've learned how to blend with them. That's fabulous, isn't it? All those different products in one. Now, I could have, let's have a look if this works or not. Might not, but at least we've tried. So that might, can I get away with just popping that there? Yeah, probably, probably I can. So let's just pop that down there, a little bit of blue down there. Let's just pop that on there. You don't even look for where it starts and where it ends. You just it just works. That's the great thing about two red robins. When you put it, when you think about it logically, it doesn't necessarily make sense. But when you put it down and and it all works together, it's just absolute perfection. Very clever designing. Right. So now I could have. I could just pop a couple of berries. Just pop behind there. That's quite nice there. So let's pop those there. So I've now got a little bit of blue all the way through. But then we have to use our beautiful little birds. So I've got this little chap that's going to sit down here. So I'm actually going to snip off. It's all right, it doesn't hurt him. Pop him there. I'm going to curve him round a little bit. And I would use some pin flare glue gel for this. Put a little bit on the legs down here. And a little bit round there like that. And then his little friend is going to go in and I'm going to have him just stood on the berries there. <laughs> What's not to love about this? Isn't it just fabulous? And it's a great price and it's time to treat yourself. Clots are going back soon. We're going to have more time inside. We're going to have more time crafting and it's just going to be lovely. And then just to finish that off, I'm going to bring in a piece of black card or our black board because it's more than card it's proper you can get use your code get 15 percent off this and your construction weight acetate that you can stamp on and your pearlescent card that we've got in on a great price so i'm now going to pop that onto a piece of black like that and look how that just makes it pop it's fabulous so let's cut this down with our cutter pillar 
and I'm going to just bring this in here and I'm going to make a snip up there. I'm going to move that little bird's tail out of the way, otherwise it's going to get it chopped off. And another one down here. And then we can stick that together and we can give that away. How fabulous will that be? Love it when we can do giveaways. Right, put my little bird back in place because he's fallen off his berries. And then we'll just stick that down in place. And let's get some glue on here like so and then we're going to pop that over the top of there like that and then you've got your little piece of art there look so that was the original this is the one that we've just done now less paint less paint lighter paint whatever whichever way you want to do it but I think that is fabulous and just to show you one more thing before we go I'm going to take this box again and I am going to find a stencil and a piece of black card because this is awesome. So I'm going to pop that on there. That's going to go on the top of there. I've got some Cadence stencil spray on top of that. And I'm now going to use my metallic paint. So same thing in a spray bottle with extender. And we're just going to add a little spritz of that. So I'm not going everywhere, just a little spritz. Needs a bit more in there. And then I'm going to bring my white in. And we're going to add a little bit of this. And it needs to be metallics on black. The colours just disappear into it, but it's fabulous when you do this. So, are we ready? Let's reveal that. Look at that. Now that is done with your paint spritzed with your extender. When that dries, it dries with such a sheen, it is phenomenal. That, season's greetings in the middle, Christmas card done. How fantastic is that? But it will also work. You imagine taking a thistle. See, I'm off now. This is, <laughs> this is it now. Did you just see me the other week? I was literally bouncing up and down on my chair. I was so excited about this, this paint. So look, you could pop a little thistle there. You could pop a little bird at the bottom like that, crop that down, sentiment on there or just in the middle and that's your card done. How fabulous is that? Right, I'm going to sort out all this mess now and I want you to go and watch Stephanie because she's on at six o'clock. Fabulous collection called Love Letters. This is your information that you want if you want to check out your bundle. So it should be 50 pounds and 96 pence. We've knocked it down to 39.99. Nest members down to 35.99. You've got four clear pay payments if you want to spread the cost or three PayPal in PayPal paying three. That's not easy to say either. And don't forget to look for your, metal, your um, cadence set of paints with the, extend, with the extended, they are phenomenal paints. So we've got a paint that we can paint with. We can do our one, one stroke brush painting with. We, Stephanie's going to teach you how you can use them with watercolours. We can spritz with them. We can blend with them. We can stamp with them. We can use them through stencils. Absolutely phenomenal product. And this paint is, I would say, artist quality but not with the artist quality price point. I have never used paint that is better than this. It is phenomenal. Right, thank you so much for joining me. I've had an absolute blast today. I've just done loads of teaching. It's been wonderful. And now I've got to go and tidy up the hurricane that has been through this studio. You go off and watch Stephanie and enjoy your new collection from Two Red Robins. I will see you very soon. Take care, lots of love. Bye.